What up, viewers? It's your girl, Cynthia Amadi, coming to you once again with a social topic. So today, I'm going to be addressing the social issue that bothers on nudity, especially in musical videos. This video is inspired by a new friend that I met this last weekend at ShopRite Mall, where I went grocery shopping. So I met this girl, and she walked up to me to say, oh, nice, this, nice, that. And then in the course of talking, I asked her what she does for a living. And then she says to me, I'm a video ho. When I heard that, I was like, huh? And then she told me with every iota of pride that she's a video ho. The last time I checked, the meaning of a ho is an ashawo. So let us not even butter words or try to, let's not sugarcoat it, let's not put any cream on it. Nigerians, my darling sisters, we can't form. Ah ah! Video ho. Ho ke for a living. I mean, when men even call you a ho, you call yourself a ho too, using such derogatory term. Anyway, back to the matter. So these days, Nigerian music industry, big ups to everybody who's doing well, big ups to people who produce dancehall music to us. But when in the course of providing entertainment, you objectify and ridicule my darling sisters who don't know any better, people who think that they are selling points, has to be Manchester and Arsenal. I don't blame them. It's you I blame. You are the ones who allow yourselves to be used. What happened to those days releasing a button or two was sexy? These days, what is exposed is even more than what is covered up. So everybody wants to be in a musical video because they think, um, okay, well, there's a star thing to it. Everybody wants to dance with P-Square. Everybody wants to dance with Emma. Everybody wants to dance for, or dance with Kathy. And everybody wants to dance for Ice Breaks. I get that. But darling, do you, do you even think when people objectify you in their songs and call you bitches, and say, what's your selling point? And then you stupidly start dancing, what's my selling point? And you start rolling and gyrating to a music that uses derogatory terms on you. The one where they paint me self. We can, f for instance, I hear that amongst girls, the latest grammar now is twerking. So, we happen to stay in a society where we hear one word and we run with it. So everybody now thinks that twerking is a good thing. That's why you can see a girl tell you, I twerk, I twerk, I, I, I twerk. Twerking is raz. When as a girl, you come and put up the thing that God has blessed you with, the things that should be respected, things that should be covered up with dignity, they expose it and put it all over our faces. Poor us. You tune to this channel, you see boobs and ass. You tune to that channel, you see boobs and ass. No effective censorship, you begin to wonder. I'm shaming for you people. In Funke and terms, I am shaming for you. I am not even priding you people at all. Now, seriously though, do you think, my darling sisters, in the next 10 to 20 years, when motherhood, marriage, everything would have taken its course, when nature would have taken its course, what will you now say you do for a living? Hmm? When your boobs will now, your mammary glands will now be like a slippers, happy and happy. What will you now say that uh, you do for a living? Because the time you were supposed to be using your time productively, you were using it to go and juggle, put it in our faces. Haba, uh -uh. we should take your time now. Let us respect ourselves, women. Because if we don't respect ourselves after all, who is going to respect us? I mean, you think all these uh, musicians don't have pretty sisters. Of course they have pretty sisters, but we, they will not use their pretty sisters to do all those nasty roles that you do. Because you know why? Their sisters are classy and you are trashy. That is why they will call you and pay you peanuts to come and juggle your boobs and juggle your ass in our faces. And of course, that will attract viewing. And then they walk to the bank with millions while they pay you peanuts. Not even enough to sustain you until your next video shoot. So please, darling sisters, what is your selling point? Hmm? Your selling point should be your mom, eh? Not your Manchester and your Arsenal. Uh -uh. 
Another thing too is that some of these our sisters use what they have to get customers. My dear, if you show a man that all you have to offer is this and that, he will use you and move on fast to the next classy girl he's going to make. Turn 360 degrees. If you like, twerk all you want. A man who's going to leave you, we leave you. The one who's going to stay, we stay. Ah, ah. So outside of Manchester and Arsenal, you don't even have anything here. Do you people even listen to men when they talk about ladies that they meet? They will tell you that after the first five minutes, there's actually nothing to talk about. That's why sometimes I think there's a difference between Two Face Edibia and some of the artists that I listen to. Because when Two Face is playing, I hear a message. As opposed to some songs that I, ah, that sometimes I don't even listen to, but it's all there in my ears. I mean, I'm tuning to radio stations, it's there. I want to watch a musical video, it's there in my face. So I can't just help but just listen to it. And all I hear is bang, 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 with all the breast and ass and everything. Hell, my sisters, in another 20, 25 years, when we'll be mothers and probably be giving out our children out in marriages, and we now say, let's play our old school music, what we'll now be hearing is, shake it, twist it, roll it, besoke, besile, besaya, besidi, uh-uh, then we encourage it. We really besoke and we really besile with, with that which we are supposed to, I mean, have covered up. Because you flaunt it, you put it in people's faces, so, of course, there is no resistance. Please let us give ourselves brains. Uh -uh. If the guys will not accord us respect, let us accord ourselves respect. Eh? And some of you who do this thing with the intention of grabbing people's husband, the guy will just do you. After doing you, he's going to go back to his wife. So, please, a word is enough for the wise. There's a big difference between trashy and classy. Ah, I will stop there because I know some people are going to... They are going to cost me that. Please visit my YouTube channel and subscribe. It, my YouTube channel is Sinberry247. You can follow me on Twitter at Sinberry. Sinberry is C-Y-N-T-H-E-B-E-R-R-Y. You can find me on Facebook, Cynthia Amadi Lagos, Nigeria. Amount people and sisters, please remember there's a difference between trashy and class.